Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new episode on this channel. Today we are finally back in principle and we are going to animate this user interface which is a, like a kitchen temperature uh, smart home uh, UI and we are going to create a transition from the left screen which is this overview to the confirmation screen on the right side. Now in many user interfaces you have to work with these confirmation uh, like splash screens and these like highlights and we are going to directly jump into principle and we're going to import the smart home app. Now if you have sketch opened you can simply just uh, click import it's pre-selected and boom here we have the new imported user interface and what I'm going to implement is a transition from this button from this button accept you can simply click the icon and drag over to the second screen. Boom, we created the link between two, these two screens and from the other screen I would like to link back just like that using these two buttons. So that's super easy, I'm going to show it to you right now. At the moment we don't have any effects, so you see we just have this plain animation, but what we're going to do is to of course create some animations. So you see on this left screen we have this tick, this check mark icon and on the right screen we have that as well. And what I would like to do on this second screen, on this confirmation screen, these circles which are just like around this check mark icon, I would like to uh, make them visible but one step after a step after step like this is the first one two seconds later this one will be visible and three seconds later this one or some somehow like that that is going to be the plan for now so what we're going to do is to select the kitchen confirmation screen and we are going to create and we're going to copy all of the tick icon one element to the first screen just like that super easy now what we are going to do right here is to set the opacity of all of these elements which are in this folder to 0% and this will just mean that if we click on the button you see that they are fading in in a nice way but as I said I would like to do it step by step so what we're going to do is to select this button except right here, select the arrow and after that you see all of these different circles right here. So this is circle 1, circle 2 and circle 3. Now what we're going to do is to just place the animation in the staircase arrangement and you see right now it's like working just as I wanted. So the circles are popping out step by step and it's really working like a charm. I really have to say it's really working great. It's working fine. I would like to do to also fade in the confirmation text layer so we can simply also copy it and paste it to our first screen. Select opacity and change it to 0% and right now it's fading in as well. You can do other things like placing it on the first screen just below the screen and what this do, what this does is to while it's transitioning to the second screen it's going up all the way to this position. So if I click it you see it's just sliding up as I expected it and we can also do the same with the button or we can simply create a transition from this first button to the second one. So maybe we are going to do that. So we have this button right here, button accept and what I would like to do is to transition it to this white button. So we need both buttons, it's called BG button and if it's working out fine we should actually be able to just rename the button and it should transition from one color to the other. So yeah you see it's just working out quite fine. We have this color transition and of course we also have to give this 
X right here a, an, 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 an animation. So copy it to the first screen and I would like to change the opacity and I would also like to just place it right next to the screen so it's fading in just like the text. So you see we already have a beautiful animation right here. It's working out quite fine but when we are transitioning to the second screen we have this red or orange background and I don't like how it's just popping in. It's just super uh, stiff and I would like to select it. We can copy it and we can also paste it to the second screen just below all the other elements. So the tick one icon is the first like element from the second screen so you have to paste it below. You can of course also just change the opacity and this will just enable us to create a super super clean animation. But I think that's just a bit too much. Um, we have so many elements flying around and this can also be kind of disturbing for the user. So I guess I will uh, maybe even get rid of the confirmation, the, the confirmed text animation. So what we are going to do is to copy the Y value and we are going to paste it onto this one which will now simply uh, just leave it right there. It's fading in nicely but we don't have these flying elements everywhere. We just have the background which is super easy, super uh, clean flying in with the opacity and we have the rings just coming in in a nice way as well as the X icon right here and the of course also the button which is changing its color. So you see this is super easy, super clean way to transition from like a static uh, information screen to this huge vibrant colored uh, confirmation screen or splash screen whatever it's it, whatever you have to work with. Um, it's super easy to import these files from Sketch into Principle. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button or the thumb up button down below. You can also support me on Patreon if you want to support me with your money, but you don't have to. The link is down in the video description. Thanks guys for your attention. I hope we see us on the next tutorial. I'm also thinking about different stuff which will come out on the channel very soon. I'm going to make a video about it. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I love working with you. I love making these videos for you. You are so thankful all the time and I'm really just enjoying it. So thanks for that. Have a nice week and we see us in the next video. Bye.